Hey, this is Brandon from String Pluggery. In this video, I'm gonna show you my process for modeling up a fret holder in Fusion 360. This is 3D printed. It's a great way to keep your frets organized as you cut them to length. All right, so I've already saved this file and gave it the name fret holder. From here, let's create a new component. Give it a name. Let's do a top view. Create sketch and click on this plane. All right, so let's go ahead and name our sketch. And before we start the sketch, let me go to modify and change parameters. So even though this isn't going to be a fully parametric file, I still think it's good practice to have a list of parameters laid out. So keep in mind, I have already been through a couple rough drafts of this and I always do a rough draft before I make my final model. So therefore I'm a lot more prepared to have these dimensions ready and listed. So let's go back to the sketch. Let's click R on your keyboard for rectangle. Let's make it a center rectangle. Click on the origin. So this bottom dimension, let's do block width. And for this dimension, let's do block depth. Now click L on your keyboard for line. Click this point to this point. Click D on your keyboard for dimension. Now dimension these two lines and let's make this step depth. Let's do one more. Create a dimension, step depth. So going back to change parameters, notice I put an equation for step depth. So what I'm doing is taking the total measurement or the total length of the depth and dividing it by the number of steps, which in this case is three. So what this does, if I wanted to change this to 2.75, you notice that all of these three sections stay symmetrical. Change it to 3.5, same thing, all three lines stayed symmetrical. I mean, let's measure this real quick. Yep, one inch and 167 thousandths, and the same. So that's why I did it like that, just to make things easier if you ever want to adjust the depth of this block. So for now, I'm going to put it back on three and move on with the sketch. And next, let's create a construction line from this point to this point. And from this point to this point. Now let's select midpoint constraint. Click these two lines. And also add a horizontal constraint. All right, now let's sketch out a circle. C on your keyboard. Make this a solid line. And let's go with our whole diameter parameter. All right, from here, let's create a dimension from this point to this point. Do two inches. And now I'm gonna create a point right here on this line and then somewhere down here. Create a dimension from this point to this point four inches and from this point to this point two inches and one more from this point to the origin two inches now I'm going to create a line from the very top of this circumference here so I'm going to find the center let it lock in and find the top and click from that point to this point and make that a construction line. So you notice we lost our constraint here. So put a dimension that line to that origin point and we're good to go.
Now from here, I'm going to use this construction line, do a center rectangle, make it a construction, find the origin point, do a quarter of an inch to quarter of an inch, and we use that as a guide to help us lay out our text. All right, now we need to do that 23 more times. So let's go to create, click on rectangular pattern. I'm going to click and drag and highlight the square and the circle. Just be careful not, not to highlight anything else. All right, for direction, we click this line right here. For quantity, we'll do eight circles. Distance. So this dimension right here is D16. So the spread is the distance is equal to this parameter or this dimension. Now I want to go down. Let's go negative D17. Which is this parameter right here. Click OK. From here, let's go ahead and add our first number. Go to Create and hit Text. And keep in mind, I created a shortcut for text and a point since I use it often. So you might not be able to find these on your toolbar. Just use this box to create a text box. And we'll start off with one. You want to make sure your height is a quarter of an inch or you can reference the text height parameter make sure align center and align middle is selected click OK so we lost our constraint again so you see that the text box is highlighted in orange so let's add a horizontal constraint to that and we're good to go all right, I went through the task, the tedious task of filling out the rest of the numbers. So let's go ahead and finish the sketch. All right, now let's extrude. Let's start with this first section and make sure that everything is selected. And then we'll extrude that and assign it the block height parameter. Click OK. Show our sketch. Extrude. All right, now let's click on the next section. Let's select all the profiles that we want to extrude. Let's go block height minus step height. Make sure the operation is joined. And one more. Hit E. Let's select the profiles. Let's do block height minus step height times 2. Now we have the basic shape of the holder. All right, next let's go ahead and extrude these numbers and the holes on the top of these faces here. So let's hide the body for a second. Click E on your keyboard for extrude. Let's start off with selecting the numbers. Let's show the body. For start, select object. Then select this face. And for the distance, let's do negative text depth. Click OK. Let's repeat that same process for the circles. So hide the body, hit E on your keyboard, select the circles, show body, start object, select this face, and let's do a negative hole depth for the distance, and click OK. Alright, now let's repeat those same steps for the next two faces.
so that's it. It's fairly straightforward. One final thing I'm going to do. So I'm going to select this first icon. Hold down shift and select the last to highlight the history. I'm going to create a group. Name group. Red holder. And I like to do that with, um, especially on models with multiple components. It just helps keep everything nice and clean. And then you can just expand or retract and go through and find what you need in your in your timeline here. So, yeah, that's it.